Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. So plan for this video is just to continue with our Angular Material series and to install Angular Material into our Angular project that we already created. One thing that I would like to mention is that next to this Angular Material series you can find a whole Angular Essential series related only for Angular and Angular beginners. Also I would really like if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel as I am posting web development tutorials each week. So make sure to click that subscribe button and next to that uh, bell icon so you could get notified when I post a new video. Now let's start with our video. First of all we already established what is Angular and what is Angular Material. You already know that Angular Material will hold material design components specifically for Angular as a technology. And as this whole series is related to Angular Material, through the whole series you will see how can you install Angular Material, use it properly, use each component and CDK from Angular Material. That CDK stands for Component Dev Kit, which you will see in an action later in this series. Angular Material, if you wish to install it for Angular projects, you can do that directly through Angular CLI. For example, if I would go to my terminal, I can stop my local host from running and I will clear my terminal right now. One thing that we can do here is use ng-help, which will give us all of the commands that we can use from Angular CLI. One such command is this add command. This add command will be able to add external libraries into our project. So, for example, if you would run your local host and go to the local host 4200, here in your web application, well, default web application from Angular, you will be able to click on this plus Angular material. If you would click on that, down below you should see the proper command to install Angular material for Angular project. So, let's just quickly grab this command and now in my terminal I will quickly clear this and paste that command which is ng add at angular slash material. Hit enter and now angular material process well installation of it will start. First of all it will ask us do we wish to proceed well to install this package so I will go yes here. Once package is installed it will also give us some pre-built themes that we can select and next to those you will see the preview of those themes. For me here I will select the first one which is indigo pink and that theme is also a default theme from Angular Material, so just hit enter here. Also it will ask us to set the global Angular Material typography styles. And I will go yes for this here because that is quite good for a scalable project. Even though we are not creating such here, it is still good for our setup. Also it will ask us do we wish to set up browser animations. Well I will go yes to that as well because Angular Material will use these browser animations to, well, animate its own components, so yes. Now installing will start properly and we will just wait for, well, installing the whole process to finish. Now once everything is installed, we can again run our local host. So use ng-serve and you can pass a flag for dash dash open to open your project live on a local host 4200. Once you are on your local host, you will see that there is no, well, big difference here at all. And it should not be a big difference at all, because this default code is from Angular and not Angular Material. If you wish to confirm if Angular Material was properly installed, you can go into your Visual Studio code and open up your package JSON file. In this file you will see Angular Material that is properly installed, Angular CDK or compo component dev kit, and also browser animations should be installed here for our older versions of Angular or Angular Material. But with this confirmation we are finished with installing our Angular Material for our Angular project. And in the next video we will set up our first component from Angular Material. So you will be able to see how that also works. Once again I would like to mention that next to this Angular Material series you can find the whole Angular Essential series on my channel. So, if you are a beginner in Angular technology, make sure to watch this series before your Angular Material series. But guys, this will be all for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.